Good afternoon, welcome back. It is Thursday, April 6th, 2023. We have a few birthdays and a few racing events to go over. So a few notable racing events here on this date. 1985, Brett Bodine, driving in relief of his brother, or actually substituting for his brother, uh, won his first Bush Series race at Martinsville, Virginia. The reason Brett was driving the car instead of Jeff is because also on the same day at Bristol, the Cup Series was running... <clears throat> the race that had been rain delayed from or postponed from the week prior dale earnhardt won this race tons of cautions in this race um this is the race that dale earnhardt uh, lost his power steering very early in the race around lap 100 or so and muscled the car around for the last 350 400 laps and also has a very fun image of phil parsons retrieving a steering wheel from his car Bobby Allison crashes in turn one and two, comes down the backstretch pits. Phil was out of the race, runs to his car to get a new steering wheel for Bobby, whose center had come out of the steering wheel. Phil runs back to his car, unhooks it, but forgets to unhook the radio cord and basically uh, gets tripped up when the, when the cord reaches its length. So go back and find that. That's on uh, NASCAR's uh, YouTube channel. They do have the full race there, so it's pretty funny. Go back and watch this. Two events on this date in 1986, and this is kind of fun. At Bristol, Rusty Wallace wins his first career Cup Series race. Kevin Kogan wins his first career IndyCar Series race. Same day, Rusty at Bristol, Kevin Kogan at Phoenix. So, kind of uh, fun that that happened. And our final event, another first-time winner on this date, 1997. Jeff Burton wins the Cup Series race at Texas Motor Speedway. Now, we do have a few birthdays, and the birthdays we have, we don't have a lot of cards for, so this will go by relatively quickly. Uh, born on this date in 1934, uh, I didn't find one right offhand. Ramo Stott, 1976 Daytona 500 pole sitter. And then, born on this date in 1898, Pete DiPaolo. You'll remember that name from the early IndyCar days. I believe he was the nephew of Ralph De Palma. So a few cards that we do have. Born on this date in 1885, Jules Gou, Frenchman. I believe he's a Frenchman. But this, uh, one of the cars that I believe Jules raced does have his name on it. So we'll go with that. Born on this date in 1923, Mr. Herb Thomas. Herb did pass away in 2000. Lost a couple legends that year. Lee Petty, Herb Thomas, and... Well, Tim Flock, I was 98. So, uh, and then, of course, Adam Petty, Kenny Irwin, Tony Roper, and all those guys as well. 2000 was a really rough year. Born on this date in 1968. Top fueler, Tommy Johnson Jr. So we've got a couple pro set cards here of Mr. Johnson. Show you those. Born on this date in 1941, the snake, Don Perdome. So there is, uh, he had an illustrious career both in Funny Car and Top Fuel. So very cool. That was one of my favorite Perdome cars, that Pepsi Challenger. Our final birthday Cup Series Rookie of the Year. Born on this date in 1955, Mr. Ken Bouchard, 1988. Cup Series Rookie there, so there's a 91 Max, 94 Max, and then a 94 Max Rookies of the Year. Shows him with his 88, of course, he's got the Whitcomb Racing uniform, and there's a good look at his car, unsponsored basically the whole year. Of course, Derek Cope would go on to win the Daytona 500 with that team about a year and a half later. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, we had a lot of birthdays, just not a lot of cards. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I think we're going to go ahead and rip that 2022 Panini Donruss blaster box that we picked up the other day at uh, Walmart. So uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.